Hey YouTubers, welcome to Bikini Nation. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to hit that like button if you do enjoy the video. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as it will really help me out. Also turn on that bell notification. I hope you're all staying safe and well. I've got a really exciting video for you today. I'm going to focus on competitors who earned their pro cards really recently or had their pro debut this year and these ones I want to hone in on as we need to keep an eye out for them in 2022. That video that you just watched is the first pro who we're going to focus on. Her name is Anita. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce her last name, but you can see it up on the screen there. And she is from Poland. It's really exciting. She just got her pro card in October this year. She's already competed at a couple of shows. For example, the Romania Pro in November and also the Big Man Show in Spain in December this year. You can see Anita up on the screen there with Alison Tessu and you all know who she is. This is just an example to show a comparison of Anita's body next to a top competitor. And you can see her physique is phenomenal. She does need some more development, probably in the glutes and overall. But once she does that and fine tunes all those one percenters, she's truly going to be one to watch out for because she is full of potential. I can't wait to watch this one. The second competitor who we're going to talk about today is Maria Julia Lemos. You probably already recognize her face and her physique. And I'll tell you why. It's because she has competed at Olympia this year. And what is even more crazy about this story is she only had her pro debut in June 2021. Just think about that. It's really an outstanding achievement. She won the show that she competed at at Puerto Rico Pro, her first show as a pro. She won it, earning her ticket through to Olympia. What is so fantastic about Maria is she's already got an incredible physique. The muscle development is already there. So what she really needs to do is ensure she gets in front of those judges more and more so she can get that feedback, take it on board and bring in an improved package and also make sure she nails that posing because she's already competing with huge names. The third pro who we're going to focus on today is Jess Johnson from Australia. Now we're huge fans of Jess, but what is even more exciting is the fact that she only received her pro card in March this year. So she's a real fresh pro, which is really, really exciting. Unfortunately, she has not had the opportunity to compete as a pro yet, given COVID and all the international travel restrictions in place. As you can see up on the screen there, Jess already has a mind-blowing physique. That is clear. It's very evident. But what she is lacking is that experience up on stage competing against other pros and also getting in front of the judges and receiving their feedback. I'm really excited for her next year to go over to the States in particular and compete against those other competitors to see how she goes and just to gain that experience because it is so imperative. Jess was previously in the Australian Defence Force and she is considering moving over to Dubai or potentially the USA so she can dedicate her life to competing in the IFBB bikini world. And I do believe that she has all of the tools, she's got that potential to succeed and I'm really excited to watch her journey and see how it all unfolds. She's also got a killer Instagram page so I do suggest you go over there and check it out. The next pro on the list is Octavia Mazza from Italy. This is another extraordinary story as she earned her pro card in March this year. She competed at the Puerto Rico Pro in June and placed fourth. But then she went on to win the Tsunami Cup in September in her home country of Italy. This is remarkable as this means she is now qualified for Olympia next year. She also competed at the Arnold UK and placed second, which is crazy. She has truly had an excellent start to her career. 
We spoke about Octavia in our last video. She has an amazing structure and really nice lines. We just hope that she does head over to the US and compete more, as I believe she'll be truly successful over there and it can only improve her career prospects. And we can't wait to see her at Olympia 2022. Our next competitor is Victoria from Poland. Now Victoria just got her pro card at the end of August this year, which is absolutely crazy. She competed in September at the Tsunami Cup and she placed second behind Octavia, who we just spoke about. And what's even better is she went on to win the Poland Pro in October in her home country, earning her Olympia qualification for next year. Victoria has an awesome physique that is so clear, but to be honest, all of these pros that I've mentioned have really incredible physiques, and that's why it's so exciting. The next gen of bikini competitors are coming through, and they're really going to dominate over the next few years. I honestly cannot wait to see it. And another exciting part of this is these girls are already winning pro shows shortly after getting their pro cards, which is absolutely remarkable. And let's not forget that Victoria has close to half a million followers on Instagram, so it just goes to show that she already has a huge fan base. Next on the list we have Rukia from Turkey. She got her pro card in July just this year. She competed at the Fit Parade Hungary and came in second place which is really outstanding and she has competed at other shows in Europe this year. A lot of the fans have big raps on this girl and so do we. She's another one with a great physique and so much promise, but oh my god I feel like a bit of a broken record but all of these girls have so much potential. Rukia needs some more development to fill out her frame and add mass in her glutes to really make them pop to accentuate that X frame. Similar to the previous feedback, I'd love to see Rukia go over to America, get in the circuit and compete in some of those bigger shows and also against some of the bigger name competitors. That would be really exciting in my eyes. The next pro on the list is Victoria Schmidt. Her name may sound familiar and this is because we have spoken about her in our previous two videos and this just goes to show what huge raps we have on Victoria and she only got her pro card six days ago. Can you believe it? Only six days ago. Victoria honestly has one of the best structures I have seen in recent memory. She's got that small waist and nice taper. Victoria has beautiful lines and that pretty muscle look. She also has that presence that all the top athletes have. And let's not forget that Victoria is only 20 years old. This video up on the screen is from 2019, so it's not even a recent video. And you can just see what an incredible structure and confidence she possessed back then. I honestly believe that she will be competing at Olympia in the next few years and be a genuine threat. We're calling that now. I am genuinely excited to watch Victoria make her pro debut as an IFBB athlete. This girl has limitless potential to go all the way and the only thing that could hold her back is herself. Guys, remember the name, Victoria Schmidt. The final pro who I'm going to speak about today is Lorna. This is extra special as she only just received her pro card on the 21st of November this year. And shortly after she made her pro debut at the Texas Pro and she got first call out and placed fifth amongst a stacked lineup. Paul Rivalia from Team Pro Physique is her coach so we know she is in good hands. Lorna's got a beautiful shape to her physique. She's got that look, the look that they want for bikini. And I honestly can't wait to watch her further develop as a professional athlete and see how far she can take it. Guys, I've just listed a few pros who have received their pro card this year or made their pro debut, but I know I've missed so many off the list, so I'd love for you to write down in the comments below any of your top recommendations of new pros to the bikini scene. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Over and out from Bikini Nation. Thank you.